Good evening, fellow punters. 20 to 7 on Sunday evening. Back with a, <clears throat> a couple of for tomorrow. And I have a hot pot. A hot pot of cube for Cheltenham. And I have an each way lucky 15 for Cheltenham. Two on Friday. One on Thursday and one on Tuesday. Um, bear with me on this. I have a new system or a new thing up this evening uh, to see can I stay longer than 15 minutes on. Uh, I got something. I bought something from America there a while ago. So I want to see will it work. Um, so if I, I'm not as organized as, as I was on the old system. But we'll see how things go. Made a few pounds today off them. Um, Espinito Bello won very well. Uh, that run brought him on in uh, Gordon in the Thursdays and that was his fourth win at the track. Loves the Nace air. Wouldn't he love to run there the whole time? Uh, you can see six out bear uh, a fuck up that he was going to uh, to win it. Uh, Mikey O'Sullivan a great confidence booster for him for Cheltenham. Uh, I see there was a lot of money for that. He cleared the gee. If it was six to one, I wouldn't have put it up his sleeve. But I thought, I think it finished fifth or sixth. Uh, but Brian, I don't know why she does stay so far back. It can't be that slow. And uh, Harmonia Maker fell at the second last. Uh, that's twice in a row. That does no good to her confidence. It's a good job it didn't happen in Cheltenham. Um, but anyway, uh, we made money. That's the main thing. And I see uh, Spinderella, Paula. Uh, she nutted me in uh, the stall with Percy Villagalwa when uh, she tipped up Macaloni. Uh, I was saying at the time it should be a great forecast and today another forecast uh, she was on the second one and she tipped it up at a massive prices as well. Uh, fairly clever. And Jared Merton had a winner. Uh, Paul Manton I think had a winner. So all told we made a few pounds for the week. So we won't be giving it away to hastily, I hope. Now, um, and, and there was a bus horse that won today that would tipped up the last time that didn't stay. Horse Esteem, it won at three to one today. Um, it, it went at three miles the last time, and there was another one as well. Oh, uh, the one that Paul at, or uh, Christina tipped up uh, a few times on Gulliver Run. That one as well I seen today there. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Um uh, tomorrow is a horse we put up the last time. But it, La Patron it it was on a second run from uh, when it came from from uh France. And this it's back to the course and distance and the ground should be something similar to this run. And then it we put it up then at the last time, but it wasn't off the air because the one from the stable was all the money for cut mask. But on this right. run, if it, it does this bit tomorrow, a little bit tight. it would have a live chance. Sam. They head on towards the third last, out wide Baddersley. Uh, back on the centre is 34 stitches, possibly still just the leader of mistake from Super Duper Sam. Le Patron looming up large on the outside of the leader, 34 stitches, who's driven hard. Look at Le Patron coming to challenge now as they race along the bottom of the course at the railway bend, chased by Storm Hill, Super Duper Sam and Zestful Hope, 34 stitches is still galloping. Le Patron now being shaken up by Kaylin Quinn and 34 stitches is a resolute galloper. Still leads by about a neck on turning in. 34 stitches on the right. Le Patron on the left as they approach the second last. 34 stitches is if anything further ahead. Down there Super Duper Sam. Zestful Hope avoids the fallen horse and now to the last and 34 stitches has beaten them off. Le Patron second and then Storm Hill. 34 stitches over the last. Le Patron Patron in second place and then Storm Hill. It's 34 stitches being kept up to his work by Charlie Hammond. A really brave display of front running here. Chal that was its first run in England and then I thought it would uh, come on for the run uh, next time and the same horse beat it by further but uh, 
there was a gamble on the yeah, young Quinn was on it, but Jimmy Moore is on as a left. Gary Moore is going fairly well. Uh, I thought that was worth a bet tomorrow. And there's an each way bet in this race. I thought in Stratford. I tried to look at each track tomorrow. Um, but Galise Macalo, the last time it was seen was up against Epitante. Uh, but in Chepstone's previous run. Uh, we're up nine pounds for this, but I've done it in style. Galise Macalo narrowly from Progressive, that Heather Rose is making progress and comes to join them as they jump that third from home. As they race then now towards the second last, they pull four lengths clear of Pillar of Steel. They're staying on Astrovere, is making good progress in the green and white colour. Still got six lengths to find on the leaders as they race towards the second last. Galise Macalo just in front from Progressive. Eva Rose, having come to join them, is now a length or two away on the near side, but being ridden, but still in contention. Then there's four lengths to Astrovere. They make the long run towards the final flight, then a short run in, but Galise Macalo has found a bit more in front, seen off the challenge initially of Progressive in second. Eva Rose, a couple of lengths away in third and then Astrovere in fourth the others well beaten off but Galise Macalo back over hurdles today after a spell over fences she's a previous course and distance winner and uh, barring a problem at the last she looks set to make that two course and distance wins she jumped it big and bold the final flight Galise Macalo over safely and she's drawn right away in the closing state in her next race then she wasn't disgraced totally when she ran behind uh, Epitante in uh, a great a great Two. Um, beaten 12 lengths but the winner won it by 8 um, anyway um, that's an each way better thought tomorrow there's 10 in that the horse that's favourite hasn't ran in a dog's age um, 493 days for skeleton so we don't know what that is like. Restitution won pretty well, won by 10 lengths the previous time as well. And then it ran uh, down the field in the Betfair hurdle. So uh, it's a decent race this actually tomorrow. Restitution is a big prize. But I thought that was a safe uh, for small money anyone for putting uh, bets tomorrow. Uh, then in Wolverhampton tomorrow night we have... Uh, Rock Chant. I forgot to uh, look at to see what price he was. Um, I think he's in the 730, is he? 11 to 8. He could be put into a tricks, he will say, or something. So you have La Patreon, you have that each way. Um, the one at Taunton, I thought, was. I'm not as organised now as I as I should be. Uh, the three twenty five. Golden Sovereign. Um, there's two decent runs there. In the new campaign, but second of fourteen. In Wincanton the last time behind certainly red. Uh, third run back after the layoff. Golden Sovereign. Certainly red is a decent horse. That was a class three. Same class as today or tomorrow. So if people wanted to do a small each way. Or a small trick say. The Patron, Golden Sovereign and Rock Chant. And just have an each way on, on Gallo or... God, I can't even remember. No, my head is mithered. Um, there was one or two at Thurless that I had looked out at, uh, but um, I don't think we'll... The one that I was looking at the other day isn't running. Um, I'll forget about that. Uh, anyway, on to Cheltenham. Uh, the selection here in the Ultima is Nasalab. We're up two pounds for finishing. Now it's only a six year old and the last six year old to win this race was Coup de Civila a few years or De Savola. But um 
it was third the last time uh, behind Midnight River. It's in third place on the rail coming around That's the turn well for behind. home. They've got four to jump. Stolen Silver on the inside of Eden to who? Shake em up Harry going strongly with every chance. Midnight River in the thick of it on the wide outside. Nasalam is now breathing down the leader's necks. Then follows Il Rodoto. Happy Go Lucky and Warlord and Fantastic Lady are all in touch. Dayran Dakar, Jacques de Machine, Jacamar, Brave Sashka and Simply the Bets is last of the leading group. I, was, I thought that was a good run for a six-year-old. Carrick Rambler, I know, is only six pounds higher than last year, but it's carrying an awful lot more weight. Uh, it's carried to, it won over with carrying only ten stone two last year, and it's carrying uh, eleven stone five this year. The reason for that is uh, um, there was a, a gold cup winner, uh, Frodon, was uh, was carrying top weight, so I know there's only six pound, but uh, the weight is carrying an awful lot more weight. Uh, that's my will be my tip in that race and uh, it's the one to put into a lucky 15 in the other ones in the lucky 15 um are uh, in the 210 in the per temps on thursday uh shoot first is out now got a uh, hurt yourself yesterday evening I got that news last night uh, that it probably would be out. Um, my selection for the per Tims will be Salvador Ziggy. It's 11 to 1. Uh, my selection for the County Hurl, I was sort of said in the other night, uh, is Gin Coco. It's 10 to 1. And the each way selection, I think, is too big of a price uh, to leave it out, is Protector at 14 to 1 for the Gold Cup. So that would be. And Ultima, Nasalam at eight to one, uh, Jin Coco at ten to one, Protector at fourteen, and Salvador Ziggy at eleven to one, and each way lucky fifteen of those four. The four hot pots, um, I think of all the favourites I was looking at, I, I think Gallard de, de Menil is rock solid in the uh, the National Hunt Chase. It's 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 uh, even money. But I expect that to win. I also expect Delta Work to win the uh, the cross country. That's even money. Uh, Constitution Hill is four to eleven. Or people just say there's no point having a bet on that race. But if you put that into a multiple bet, then you have an interest in the race. Because uh, anyone that's interested in horses will be betting on every race in Cheltenham, no matter how small. And there's always an angle to make a pound at Cheltenham. So that's what we're trying to do in a couple of races as well. And the other one is Shishkin at four to five. If that, even you could nearly tie up one leg and it should win that race to Ryanair, I think. I'm not too worried about this uh, thing of uh, bombing out again and everything. Uh, I could go pick horses on form, what I see lately. Uh, I'm not. Too, I'm more worried about um, uh, that happening with flat horses, as opposed to national hunt. It's not like that they were in the shelf or it were wrapped up in cotton wool, and that hot pot of cube would pay just near almost nine to one. So that's them, right? I'm just going over the 15 minutes. I want to see. That's what I wanted to see. How, how is this going to work when I finish up? Um, what else I was to say? I have I have a lot of selections do, uh, done for Tuesday. But I, uh, I didn't put them up on this video. For fear that it might uh, it might just work according, go on according to plan. That I might have to revert to my original system again. So... Uh, I see. As long as I've gone over the fifty minutes, I didn't stop, so that's a good sign. Uh, maybe I should stop. Um, let's see. Um, and something else. Oh yes. We'll have a quick peep at this. Where do I get out of the way?
This was the reason I picked eased and drifts back through the Salvador Ziggy. That's him in fifth place the on the right hand side. Well in between them is shoot first. Panic attack is in fourth. Then on tire, Macaloni, the outside of Silver Sheen. Salvador Ziggy, Irish runners coming to the fore here as they run down towards the second last, past the bypassed obstacle. Streets of Doyen weakening as well back with the real whacker, Story Rory and Scandyberg. But it is a shoot first has now gone to the front from both. Tox has panic attack there the inside then Salvador Ziggy on tyre Moon King weakening two out shoot first led there panic attack the inside Botox has is still prominent in fourth is Salvador Ziggy shoot first now just being niggled along Botox has with every chance on the inside Jamie Moore then Salvador Ziggy panic attack at the one pace in fourth then on tyre and Silver Sheen and Macaloni shoot first leading Botox has at the final flight shoot first over to Botox has Salvador Ziggy seeking the five-timer, then on tyre. It's shoot first with the advantage here. Under Philip Burns, just drifting left. The near side, Salvador Ziggy running straighter. Shoot first in the centre, Salvador Ziggy. Botox has an on tyre chasing, but shoot first. Always travelled well and wins the qualifier. To Bo he didn't go up uh, for that, for winning at all. Uh, or for, for that, he went up. Two pounds, but I think the move by Elliot to bring him over and uh, Charles Burns bring over them too, uh, to get a, a better rating. Because if if uh, Maxim and Percival Legale were went up bundles of weight for winning in Ireland, and then they got the English few pounds as well. Uh, shoot, first only had went up seven pounds for that. That's why he was top of the market. But he he was going to our um, our selection is uh, Salvador Ziggy would meet him on better terms. And Elliot has won this three out of the last five years. So he'll know how to target that horse and have him right. And even though he's carrying top weight, he's big enough. And he should definitely be an each way selection. You know, they're, finishing, they're paying five. And Nassalam's race there now, they're paying six. Uh, the rest of them, they're paying five as well. So uh, that's I was trying to get a safe one of the big races over the week. I'll have the other ones up uh, maybe late tonight uh, or else I'll do it uh, tomorrow uh, when I come back uh, I'm just driving tomorrow and I'll call her off for the week then uh, anyway bash the bookies over and out let's see will this work now